Welcome back to the driveway and welcome to the ultimate daily van series build along. Today I have five upgrades for the transporter. They are inexpensive, easy to install. As far as tools are concerned, all you're gonna need is a Sharpie. Oh, and if it matters to you, there is a friendly, neighborly, zero decibel rating for this video. Number one on the list, and it is headlights. Now, since fitting the laser lamps to the front, a lot of people have said, um, what are you gonna do about the headlights? Because out of factory, they are poor, and they are not incorrect. They are poor. This is the daytime running light that is as standard with the transporter. Now, I do know there are a lot of companies out there that sell lovely headlights um, with sequential um, LED lights in there and things like that. I don't think that that is the style I'm gonna go for. I wanna keep it nice and simple, yet I do wanna upgrade it. For a modest 30 pounds, 29.99, you can simply change the bulb in your factory headlight unit. So we're going from a cost of potentially 500 pounds and upwards to 29.99 and the results are fantastic. Let me take you for a closer look. So all you do is you pop your bonnet and behind the headlight cluster itself, I will put some GoPro footage over the top of this, no doubt. Behind the headlight cluster itself, there is a small little port where you can get your hand in. You pull a rubber grommet off. It is quite self-explanatory, guys. You're gonna end up twisting it. It locks itself in. It's, gonna, it's actually hot from where I had it running for a minute. Now then, that's the bulb out. This is the difference. So that is your daytime running light. Basically, it's a miniature version of the old school bayonet fitting that you get in your home. Exactly the same. I'm gonna reach in and fit that, and I'm gonna show you one light with, one light without, and see what you think. Tell me what you think about that. Wow. So what are your thoughts on that guys? So for $29.99, I will put a link in the description. Look at that, look at the difference, $29.99. Absolutely wicked. I'll turn the ignition off um, and get the other one fitted. And by the way, this don't affect your canvas. There are no lights on my dashboard at the moment, even though one is an LED and one isn't. They have the correct resistance or the correct whatever. So we don't have to worry about it. Do you know what, the camera angle and the camera work was a bit shoddy back then, but I'm uh, gonna keep it in because, just like that, it proves that I just did that all one-handed while holding the GoPro. So, there it is. One hand, no tools, probably 30 seconds, 29.99. Quick photo of before, quick photo of after. Say no more. Number two on the list, and this is where the Sharpie comes into it. Good rubber mats for your cab area. You spend most of your time driving. Let's make it nice. Now, what I will say is when I ordered a brand new van back in 2014, I found on the build sheet that I could carpet the cab for 55 pounds, best 55 quid I've ever spent. Honestly, it made the front of the van just absolutely beautiful. It's a real thick acoustic carpet. You can buy that aftermarket. I'm quite happy with the wipe down stuff as I will be getting muddy, so carpet might be out of the question but the mats that I was given with them. Is this horrible checker just, yeah, thanks Volkswagen. 
So I did actually have these then over the top of my lovely carpet in my um, 2014 model that I was absolutely in love with, by the way. These are Volkswagen original. Um, they do clip into the um, floor, stop them moving around. I will show you that. There's basically, let's call it a dowel that you screw into your floor, your rubber matting, just by twisting it, I hope, but that's where the Sharpie comes into it. You need to mark its position. And then that stops them moving around and ending up kind of being dangerous. Now then, there is no real good way to show me putting these in and letting you guys join me with a camera. Um, and it's quite obvious, they're, they're mats from factory, so they fit absolutely lovely. Um, I will take you in there with a GoPro shortly. Let me run around the other side. So let me take you for a look now, guys. Again, it's just a set of mats, but they are really heavy duty, really thick rubber. They're actually quite heavy. They fit an absolute treat. They obviously go up around the wheel arch there. Um, the ones on the driver's side, I'll take you over there in a second. The, you know, the pad there for you to rest your foot while you're driving to keep it away from the clutch. There's even a um, part of the mat that goes up there. They're ideal. They're absolutely ideal. Um, and all you do is you, that's what the Sharpie's for. You mark the mat, you twist that into your floor section. And then when that, is on the underside you then twist the top and that locks into place then and by that locking these can't skid um, all over the place and end up either bunched up ruined or under your pedals while you're driving awesome So that's it, a decent set of mats up in that cab area just to make it a little bit more enjoyable when you're driving. Um, those mats are from Transport HQ, but they are actually Volkswagen OE mats. Um, I will put a link in the description. That is number two on the list. Number three on the list, and this may divide opinion a little bit. Um, for my use in this van, I think it's absolutely perfect. I am going to go for, being a day van, one of those pull-out systems with the combi bed. I know there's a few companies out there, haven't decided on which one I'm going to go for yet. If you've got one and you love it, if you've got one and you hate it, please drop me a comment um, because there isn't much on social media as far as YouTube videos that I can actually find users um, i've seen them put their own advert out there anyway i digress abs covers wheel arch abs covers i think in a combi van that's going to have muddy boots in the back of it work tools sometimes camping gear the ability to be able to wipe that down i think that's going to suit me absolutely perfectly the carpet in this vehicle is going to be a dark color maybe even black i've got the oe thick rubber floor going in um, the rubber matting like the combi mat so them with that mat in with the carpet on the walls i think it's going to look practical um it's yeah it's going to look utilitarian i like it i think it's absolutely awesome they are vacuum molded they're very cheap um i think it was 75.99 delivered on ebay i will put a link in the description not sponsored by the way um this is the passenger side it's obviously got the cut out for the wheel arch vacuum molded like it's every single groove that you could think of it even makes way for the welds it's absolutely <laughs> crazy um, the only thing i will say is i decided to carpet behind there um, just to stop that bridge in from metal to plastic maybe take care of any rattles it just makes me feel better that that's carpeted you could try to attempt to sound deaden that i don't know about space if i'm honest it is a snug fit in a nutshell you take that panel off do whatever you're going to do to the wheel arch. I used grey carpet. You're never going to see it. It's just some old grey carpet that I had left behind. Slot it in place. Put the panel back on. Pop your panel pins back in. That is it. The only other thing is when I know that I'm totally happy with it and it's definitely staying. Um, no more need to take it off for paneling, carpeting behind, that kind of thing. I will probably bed the bottom down with silica, maybe tape it for 24 hours just to stop it trying to flare up and pull the and pull the um, rubber matting up. But I think I think it's awesome. So here's the one fully fitted. 
the wind is picking up and it's starting to rain but here it is fully fitted pretty seamless by the time that panel is carpeted I'm not going to carpet it obviously otherwise I would have just carpeted the wheel arch so by the time this is carpeted and the rubber matting is on there I think that looks very very professional myself so blank panel off carpet the arch put the arch cover on panel back on simple as that $75.99 ABS wheel arch kit, that is number three on the list. Bonus round for number three guys, thought I'd show you what these arch covers look like once the floor's down, and I hope you agree, I think they look absolutely spot on. So by the time these wall panels are covered, I think they will look absolutely awesome, I think they do look awesome number four on the list and it is the cheapest on the list it is the team heco wind deflectors now i do actually have air conditioning so it's not um, necessarily a must have i just do like to drive with the window down it's as simple as that this will deter wind and rain away from coming directly in while you're driving and if you are camping up you get to crack that window down and don't get water ingress simple to install you get two sticky tabs we're going to peel those off simple as that don't need any tools for this apart from the key to your vehicle believe it or not and then what we're going to do we're going to start at the furthest corner at the top corner we're going to push that in and feed it into place simple as that now then, you get these clips in your packet. These are definitely not aftermarket clips that I bought off Amazon because I lost mine when I opened the packet. That's definitely not what this situation is. But anyway, that spiky area, I like to put that into the plastic so it holds onto it, otherwise it might just slip. And all we do is push that in the gap, use our key, now you can use a flathead screwdriver, but then I lose the narrative of the fact that all of this work is done without any tools. And then I'm going to put one about here, and then one about there, put it in the hole, basically drive it home. Now you may not be able to see it because there's so many black areas, but in there, basically between the felt and your vehicle you can push that in there and that believe it or not is that simple as that and because that's can you see me now because that clip is trying its hardest to do that that actually holds it in place the only other thing to do is to now test to make sure it's going to make a horrible noise by the way the first time not too bad so yeah, the Team Heco um, wind deflectors, like I say, when you're driving with the window open, it just deflects the wind and the rain from coming into the cab. Awesome little upgrade. They look cool as hell for 27, 26 99. I will put a link in the description if I find one below. That is number four on the list. You have reached number five on the list. It is the biggest item on the list. It is the most expensive item on the list. It's on special offer at the moment. I paid 180 pounds for it and it is the Kira Vans side door pocket system setup. So basically remove the side panel, um, any kind of ply lining that's on your side door. I've actually sound deadened that door while it's off. This will be coming off um, in the future once again when I carpet the door but I'm going to fit it to show you guys, absolutely cracking, no tools needed. Comes with a little pack of um, like panel poppers, I always call them. You basically push them into place, push them home, lines up with all of the um, holes that are already in your door. Let's take a look. So hopefully you guys can actually see me regarding light, but obviously the side door needs to be shut. Now then, this 
I haven't even dry run this. So straight away the door does not need to be shut, it needs to be So that fits straight in there. The only thing I would report to you is that the little cable that ran to the door release, I needed to pop that off because it was kind of fouling things. Awesome. So there it is. Three very large pockets. Like I say, this is going to be a combi van, like a day van. Seats here, not much in the way of storage. That is going to be absolutely ample for baby wipes, dog paraphernalia, like poo bags and treats, towels. Absolutely great making use of that void, which would once be a very dead space. Now, one thing to remember is obviously when that opens, it runs down the side of your van quite close so don't have a screwdriver hanging out of here and when you open that you'll end up with a lovely crease down the side of your van um, you know maybe kids toys and soft things but yeah you get the picture absolutely great comes with all of the poppers like I said that's what they look like you force them in force that into the hole that's already there and then just push that home and that opens up that's how it's fixed and that is number five on the list so that is five more upgrades that i've made to the t6 ultimate day van let me know what you think please do put in the comments products that you think i should be thinking about for the next five upgrades thank you for joining me please do subscribe i'll see you next tuesday